Okay, it is day 22 of harvest. It is a Sunday, um, so it's just gonna be JD and I again today, I believe. Um, I'm having leftover shepherd's pie that Tanner made last night for breakfast. So good. Um, we are going to just keep plucking away at the corn. I'm tired. I thought we were gonna have a rain delay. Looks like we're not. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is confirm that the dryer dried out. Second, I'm gonna look at the ripper. Um, George had bent up one of the discs in the back. Um, he said it was running fine. It's just like stuck in one spot. Um, and to run it like that till Monday, JD said that he thinks we should just take it off because I would think it would be like hard on the bearing that's there. I don't know, I'm gonna assess the situation, see if that's something um, I wanna tackle right now. running to get the other semi and JD's got here. You gonna record this? Yeah, don't the worry. Blood, it's just your hands. <laughs> you can see a sleeve. I feel like I'm gonna lose some teeth too. Okay, so I screwed up the dryer again. Um, so since we weren't completely dried out of the overhead tank, um, I dumped corn into the drive. What I should have done is switched to auger things over and then dumped into the dryer. But what the dryer is trying to do is feed in from the, over, from the overhead and not the dryer bin. So basically there's two augers that could potentially be plugged. Okay, so since I draw, I dumped these into this bin, since the dryer wasn't completely fed, fed out of feeding from this bin, this, so it would be this auger would be plugged and also that one or just this one? Just this one. Just this one. Okay. So we're going to run some corn out of the dryer to make some room and then we're going to hit the Jesus switch which forces just this auger to run to try to clear it out. Otherwise, I'll be up there with a pipe wrench uh, twisting it myself. Okay, this is now my third mistake with the grain setup this harvest season. I think the issue is that I'm becoming too confident in what I know how to do, and it turns out I don't know what I'm doing at all. Spilled uh, just a little bit of a uh, diesel. I couldn't hear it running, so I lifted it up. <laughs> that was really smart. I've actually made four mistakes at the dryer because there was another time I did something similar to this um, unloading core was empty but I messed it up in a different way. Did not 
not help, so we're just gonna take her off. Okay, we just took it off. Okay, my lunchbox leaked a little bit. Um, yeah. It is 10.30, I just got to the field. JD got everything greased up and ready to go. I just have to pick this up out of principle um, while I was getting bills paid and organized for the week. So time to start shelling. Now I will have uh, Greg coming at 1, 1.30ish and I'm going to teach him how to work ground um, at some point so he can get rolling on the ripper. this last little sad area cleaned up. I counted my rows right today. So I can make a pass and a half. So every other round, if I just come back, then I can do a short row and a short row and I, it'll save me just a little bit of time. And we are running out of death. I hate that that panel does that. Diesel exhaust fluid. We ordered a um, new tote of it, but um, full barrel, whatever you want to call it. Um, but it isn't in yet, so Tanner is going to run and pick up a few jugs at the gas station. Hey, I was rushing a little bit, so um, a little messy. Okay, I am having a raspberry rosé poppy today. Um, I'm not sure if I've tried this one before. It's, uh, it's not bad. It's also not my favorite. It is three now. Um, we just have a little bit left, a couple acres, I would say. Um, and then I'm going to teach Greg how to do tillage. And hopefully this all fits on the trucks that we have in the cart. We'll let it dry out overnight. Now, what would be amazing is if the next field we go to is dry enough to haul direct, because then we can be drying during the day, get all dried out um, while still harvesting otherwise. If it's wet, um, we'll have to wait on the dryer, which we've hardly had to do all season this year. So really no complaints if we have to, but it would be the most efficient if we can haul direct. Hey, it is 4 p.m. This field is almost done. This is a uh, tree that fell down. We're waiting for winter to uh, burn up all those little limbs.
She has a bin cleaner. Well, right when we wanted to end, it started raining. Okay, I gave Greg a lesson on how to work ground. I am going to get this baby home and then go unload. be done by November at this point. So it's amazing, but I am tired. Okay, truck, check. Look at the sky. Mm -hmm. Service interval, okay. Off clean. <laughs> Okay, it is raining again. Going to tarp this and get home. Look at that sky. Okay, going to go check the dryer one more time and then we're gonna call that a wrap on another day of harvest. Thank you for watching and thank you for watching another. Okay, and that is a wrap on another day of harvest. Leave a comment. Tell me what your guess is. How many more days do you think we have left? <laughs>